Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. There are so many options out there for homeschool science curriculum. It can be hard to weed through it all and know what's going to be the right fit for your family. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what Masterbooks has to offer through their God's Design for Science series. I'm sharing and flipping through one specific book, God's Design for Life, but this will give you a really good picture of the amount of work and reading involved, what the experiments are like, what ages this curriculum is perfect for, and how Masterbooks helps students make meaningful connections between the Bible and the world around them. I wanna thank Masterbooks for partnering with me on this video. Today I'm sharing one of their science curriculum series with you, God's Design for Life from Masterbooks. This is part of their Biblical Worldview Science Series for grades three through eight, and I'll be showing you both the teacher guide and the student text so you can get a good feel for what's included and how it works. If you're new to Masterbooks, they are known for offering curriculum with a strong biblical foundation easy to follow lessons, and resources that really support homeschool families. We've used a few of their books in our homeschool over the years, and I'm actually going to be using one of their other elementary science series this year with my first grader. Um, I'll probably talk about that one a little bit later and how it compares with this series. Let me give you a brief overview of this curriculum before I show you inside and show you what the books are like. The God's Design Science Series is perfect for families looking for a solid science curriculum that's also rooted in a creation-based biblical worldview. There are six books in the series. Two of those are for kids around kindergarten through second grade, and the other four books are geared for kids in grades three through eight and cover topics from life science and earth science to chemistry and physics. Each book is designed as a one-year course and includes hands-on activities, engaging lessons, and a strong emphasis on how science supports the Bible. This particular set right here, um, God's Design for Life, this is all about biology. Over the course of the year, your kids will study three big units. They'll study plants, the human body, and animals. And this is one of the books aimed at grades three through eight. So any of the books in this series might be a great option if you've got multiple kids in those age ranges and you want to teach them together. Everything you'll need to get started teaching this curriculum, aside from any experiment supplies, is included in just two books. So the student text and also a teacher guide. So I'm going to flip my camera around and show you exactly how the teacher guide is laid out and what kind of support it offers you as a homeschool parent. And then we will take a look inside the student text where you'll find the reading material, activities, and critical thinking questions your kids will be learning from. Okay, so here are the two books you'll get when you purchase this course. You'll get a textbook and a teacher guide. Let's start with the teacher guide. I was kind of expecting this to be similar to some of the other teacher guides I've seen, simply a replica of the student textbook with some answer keys, but it's not like that. This book actually includes all of the worksheets, quizzes, and tests that a student will need to use going through this course. Plus, it does have answer keys. And it also has some really helpful information at the front to help you understand this course and its objectives a little bit better. Here's a look at the table of contents so you can see where everything is at a glance. You've got worksheets for each unit. You have quizzes and final exams. You have answer keys and you also have a master supply list that you'll wanna check out. There is a supply list at the beginning of each individual lesson, but if you like to have everything prepared all at once, this master list is really helpful. This page here just gives an introduction to the course, kind of gives you an overview of how the curriculum is laid out. This course is divided into three sections, the world of plants, the world of animals, and the human body, and it includes 105 lessons total plus a final project. Let me show you real quickly the suggested schedule for this course. I love how Masterbooks includes these checklists and schedules in all of their curriculum. It makes it so easy to just open up the book and go, 
keep track of where you're at and keep track of grades if that's something you need to do. They suggest a schedule of about four days per week. If you stick to this, you can complete this curriculum in one school year, spending about 40 to 45 minutes on each lesson. This may or may not be manageable for you. Um, if four days a week is too much, you can certainly take it at your own pace and spread things out a bit, or maybe you just wanna spend time exploring some of the topics in more depth. This is totally up to you. Um, I saw a suggestion from another mom who split this course into three semesters and did one unit per semester. And I thought that was a great idea. So back to this first page, um, you have a section on why it's so important to teach life science. I thought this was really interesting to read because I honestly don't really like teaching science in general. It's just not one of my favorite subjects, but I will say that resources like this are changing my mind or at least making teaching science easier because they approach it from the perspective that we want to give our kids an understanding of God as our creator and help them understand the world he created. So we can not only be good stewards, but also get to know him more and deepen our relationship with him. Growing up, I never thought about all of the laws of science and math as having been put in place by God so that we could see him, his wisdom and power. And it's such a beautiful thing to understand. So I'm very thankful to resources like the Master Books curriculum and, and others that help us teach our kids from a biblical worldview because I want my kids to understand that too. And they help me to do that in our homeschool. Down here, there is a helpful explanation of how to teach science effectively. And since you can use this, this curriculum with third graders through eighth graders, it tells you which part of the text are going to be applicable for each grade level. I'll show you this more in depth in a minute when we get to the textbook. It's really easy to understand, hence really easy to use if you have multiple kids in those different grade levels that are using this curriculum. Here we get to a quick lesson breakdown. Each lesson includes a reading section, a hands-on activity, and a review or comprehension check. I like how they talk about different learning styles and how you might want to adapt the lessons for your kids. They mentioned that you're free to add more information than what's included in the textbook. Now, some of you might be really good at pulling in other books, videos, things like that to supplement and go deeper, but this is not me. I personally would just be sticking to the book unless it specifically tells me otherwise. And I think that's perfectly fine. Don't feel pressured to add in more information. I think that what they have included is sufficient, but this is a good reminder, I guess, that you can add more if you want to. And I guess if there is a topic that really interests your kids and you want to spend more time learning that, don't hold back. This section covers the notorious creation versus evolution debate and explains how this curriculum handles questions about creation and evolution. Master books hold a young earth creation viewpoint. They talk about this briefly on these two pages. They address the fact that evolutionary science relies on assumptions that contradict scripture. And they emphasize that God's word is trustworthy even when modern science changes its theories. So you've got trustworthiness of God's word versus the ever-changing science theories. And I think this is such an encouraging reminder for us as parents. We can teach science with confidence when we anchor it in the truth of scripture. And even if you don't have much experience teaching creation science, you can be confident that master books will help you present this viewpoint clearly to your kids in their science curriculum if that's something that you're looking for finally this last part of the introduction to the teacher manual um, is the part that talks about the integration of the seven c's of history so you have creation corruption catastrophe confusion christ cross and consummation these seven c's can help us teach kids how God's word is relevant to our lives, and they help us connect science topics to major biblical events and truths. 
And the section here just gives examples of the seven C's across multiple subjects to show how a biblical worldview ties it all together. This is such a powerful way to disciple our kids through science, not just teach the facts, but really help them understand how the truth of God's word connects to the real world. Okay, I'm gonna to skip to right here. This is where we get into the worksheets and quizzes and things like that. There is a worksheet that goes with each lesson in the curriculum and they're labeled really clearly with the lesson number, um, the unit number, day number, all of those things so you can easily keep track of them. I also really like that these are three hole punched and have perforated edges so you can tear them out and keep them in a binder as your kids complete them if you want to. It might be easy to show you how these compare to the actual lessons in the textbook. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Okay, let me give you a look at the table of contents in the textbook just so you can see all the different topics and lessons that are included in these units. Again, you've got the world of plants. And then you have the human body. And then we have the world of animals. There's just a really brief intro page here that breaks down what the younger kids are going to do and what the older kids are going to do. You've got these icons here and they're they're basically the same for all kids. So first, both, um, well, all ages are going to um, do the activity that's in the light blue box. And then they're going to answer some comprehension questions. And then they're going to answer more questions to really check their understanding. This symbol right here is only for the older kids. This is going to indicate what the older students are supposed to do. This is going to give them just more challenging activities and more information that's appropriate for their level. It also mentions that all kids should read the special features, do the final project and take the tests and the quizzes. So they're all going to do that. Okay, let's look at lesson one. Each lesson starts out with some vocabulary that students should know, and then you have the reading for that lesson. Here you see the lesson questions. Sometimes these are before the activity, sometimes they're after. And you can see here in the teacher manual how the icons and the questions match up. So these questions here are written on the worksheet. So those same icons are going to be right here and the other ones are right here, okay? And they give students a little bit of room to respond. Um, some questions don't seem like they have very much room. So if your child needs more space in this, you might still wanna use an extra sheet of paper, but on a lot of pages, I think it gives them pretty sufficient room to fill in their answers, but it's all here as a guide. And then in lesson one, if we flip the page, here is that light blue box. This is the lesson activity, which is for all the students. And then this green box right here with this little award icon is for the older students to complete. The instructions for these two activities are on the worksheet as well. It asks the older students to read about the law of biogenesis and then explain it. And then it even has space right here to do that scavenger hunt activity. Having these worksheets is really helpful, I think. They give a little bit more structure to the lessons. I like how they include a little supply list for each lesson at the top of the worksheet. You do have that master supply list, but this makes it really easy to just quickly look through each week and see what you're gonna need to have on hand but you can see some of the types of activities and questions the kids will have as they go through the lessons. Um, kids really get a chance to actively apply what they're learning. These worksheets are great for kids who are visual learners. You're going to be able to really target multiple learning styles with these lessons and all of the different types of things they're going to be doing. The lesson questions give them opportunities to reflect, apply, and explain the concepts in their own words, which is great for building deeper understanding and critical thinking. 
and they really help you as a parent see what your kids are learning when they're having to answer those questions. Let me flip through just a couple of other lessons here so you can see what they're like. You are going to see the same setup for each lesson, a page or so of reading, an activity, questions to answer or discuss, and then options in each lesson for older kids. It's definitely, in my opinion, a more mature curriculum than their other science series. Um, that one only goes up to level four anyway, but that series, um, the one that I mentioned I was gonna be doing with my first grader this year, that series has more copy work, more uh, cartoony pictures, and from what I've, I've seen, it just doesn't go as deep with the critical thinking type questions. This curriculum here is really designed to build those critical thinking skills. Not that that makes one series better than the other, it's just different and you are going to have options for what's best for your kids at their level. Let's take a look at a lesson in the human body section. And then finally, the world of animals section. Let me show you the rest of what's in this teacher manual. So these are all of your worksheets to go with the lessons. And then after the worksheets, you have quizzes and the final exam. Here's what the quizzes look like. They, again, are clearly labeled. They have a spot for you to um, put the score at the top. The back side here is just for kids who did the challenge portions of the first four lessons. And they tell you how to grade it at the bottom. So the back of the quiz is going to be for the older kids. If you have younger kids, they would just do the front side here. So you could use these however you wanted to really, but you do have options for younger students and older students. You have six quizzes and a final exam for each of the three big units. And then here in the back, you also have answer keys to all of the worksheets, which is really, really helpful. You also have quiz answer keys and final exam answer keys. Masterbooks also offers a few optional resources that pair really well with this course. You can purchase a science experiment supply kit, which will give you everything you need to complete the activities in the curriculum. I know that's an extra expense, but I love kits like this because I never have my act together enough to have all of the science activity supplies ready to go. So we would often end up skipping experiments in other curriculums that we've used. So that's a great option. They also offer a video-based course at Masterbooks Academy. I'm not super familiar with Masterbooks Academy, to be honest, we've not used it personally, but I think they basically just have videos to walk your kids through the lessons, but that is something you can check out if you'd like. And finally, they offer a God's Design for Life for beginners curriculum, which is pretty much the same content as this, but for kindergarten through second graders. So you really can use this with a wide range of kids if you're wanting to do more of a family style learning setting in your homeschool. I hope this slip through was helpful to you as you consider science curriculum options for your homeschool. Overall, this curriculum offers so much value and is really thoughtfully put together. I think a lot of homeschool families will love how it combines science, scripture, and critical thinking all in one easy to implement 
pretty much open and go package. Thanks again to Masterbooks for partnering with me on this video. I will leave links in the description below where you can find God's Design for Life and all the other resources that Masterbooks has to offer. Let me know in the comments if you've used this curriculum before or if you have any questions about it. And if you want more curriculum reviews and homeschool tips, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.